Hi, I'm Ope Smith, and is this a fashionable outfit? Probably not. Am I gonna wear whatever the heck I want? Yeah. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> what up? In my last video, might not have been the last video that you saw, but it's the last one I filmed, I did a video about my thoughts on Lent. And in that video I said, I don't want to fail this challenge, I don't like failing challenges. And then I added on to it, I don't like failing anything. Which I think is sort of universal, because why would you want to fail? You want to succeed, it's natural to want to succeed. And humans have a naturally competitive spirit and that's what drives, that's the driving force for everything. It drives people who sell things. Competition makes the world go round whether you like it or not. Which is why we shouldn't give out participant ribbons. I got participant ribbons because I sucked. And the, particip the participant ribbons made me feel terrible. And I shouldn't have gotten one. I'm not athletic, so I shouldn't be rewarded for just competing in athletic activities when I don't have any athletic ability, you know? It's being rewarded for nothing. We shouldn't be rewarded for failing, which I feel like we are a lot. But at the same time, I realize that I have a very negative view of mistakes and failing. Anytime I make a mistake, I instantly become ten times more self-conscious than I am, ten times more insecure, and I just want to shrivel up and die. I don't want to talk, I don't want to move, I don't want to do anything because I'm afraid of making another mistake. And of course you don't want to make mistakes and mistakes can often cost you. So you should try your best to not make mistakes and once you make a mistake you have to be accountable for it probably apologize and accept the consequences. But at the same time, even if you try your best to not make a mistake, you're going to make one. No matter what. It doesn't matter how good you are at something or how self-aware you are, the, the best you try, how much you know, how much you've experienced, it does not matter. You are going to make another mistake and after that one you're going to make a hundred more until the day you die. You're going to make mistakes. And that is just how we learn. You might have put your hand on a hot burner when you were a kid and then you burned yourself and you were like, ow, that hurts, that was a mistake and then you learn, oh, don't put your hand on a hot burner <laughs> and just you you need to learn from your mistakes I instantly I'm like somebody please kill me I don't want to live anymore I just made a mistake oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm a failure I suck I'm a loser and I just beat myself up over it but what you gotta do you just gotta take it in stride because a lot of life isn't what happens to you or what other people do to you or the stuff going on around you pretty much the only thing you can control in life is yourself and part of controlling yourself is choosing controlling how you react what you can control more than making mistakes is how you react. Just like, okay, I made a mistake, that sucks, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Uh, I'll apologize, I'll take responsibility for it, I'll be accountable for it. This is what I did, this is what not to do, this is what I'm gonna do next time. And just learn. If you think that you know everything, you're stupid. <laughs> Because nobody knows everything. If you think you're done learning, then yeah, you're not going to learn anymore. Can you stop making the noises? Thanks. My cat is... He's a wily one. Um, yeah, life, you're always learning. All the time. 
doesn't matter if you have a PhD in like five different subjects and know every language on you're still learning. There's always stuff to learn. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about my negative view of mistakes and I'm going to try to better myself and learn to not react that way to mistakes and give some advice to you, because I'm, I'm good at giving advice. So you can like, comment, favorite, and subscribe and all that fun stuff, or don't, I'm not your mama, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.